since you started, or before you started Guitar Club, or... Way before I was in it. Way before. Which was... how many years? I'd say about five, six. Impressive. Roughly. And are you part of a band right now? Yes. <laughs> So, what's your name and how long have you been in Guitar Club? My name's Tim Relva. Um, I've been in Guitar Club for about five months. So. And are you part of a band? Have you written any songs? Um, I'm in a band called Crimson. Um, bandmates, uh, Alex Knickerbocker, uh, Sean Blake, me, of course, Tim Relva, and Zach Nickelman. And um, we have just come out with a CD um, that we've been uh, distributing around school. <laughs> David Curtis. Uh, I'm not actually in Guitar Club, but I teach it sometimes. Uh, I help all the kids in there learn different riffs, techniques, and songs. I've been playing guitar for about six years. Even though I didn't technically have one for the first two years, I took lessons. I'm in flamenco, in flamenco uh, classical, rock, alternative. I also learned a little blues and country. So I'm pretty much you know, an all-around general player. Um, right now I'm studying soloing techniques. Uh, I also play the drum set. So I'm, you know, usable in a lot of fields. And your name is? Ron McGarry. And you're in a band with Justin, the Asian freshman, right? Yeah. And what are the kinds of songs you've written in your time in the Guitar Club? Uh, we've written about four songs, and, uh, our band's uh, alternative rock. So why did you join Guitar Club and what kind of experiences have you had? Well, I joined Guitar Club because all my friends were joining and it was just another place to hang out. Time. My name's Alex Knickerbocker and I joined Guitar Club because there weren't enough drummers around and everybody seems to want a drummer. So I figured I might as well go in. And how long have you been playing music with anybody? Well, I've been playing piano the longest for about 11 years now. Um, I got out of that and went directly into guitar in ninth grade. And I've been playing guitar for about four years. And then I picked up drums when my drummer quit my band, actually. So the gap was filled when I got into that and went into the guitar club and formed another band, Crimson, I'm sure you've heard with Tim Relva and Sean Blake and a kid named Zach Nickelman. And I've got another actual drum set that's in the same garage right over there. And I've just been accumulating musical equipment over the years, so. When I was taking piano, my biggest influence was David Lanz. He's a new age artist. And I also listened to a lot of George Winston. Um, wasn't so big on classical stuff, but I learned theory and tried to keep up with just playing music and scales and, you know, whatever could help me get better at writing songs. Um, when I picked up guitar, I started out listening to Metallica a whole lot and got into the rocker phase, but went to Dream Theater later with progressive rock, and they've been using all that theory I learned in piano, so that was kind of cool to implement. And then when I picked up drums, I stayed listening to Dream Theater, and their drummer has been really, really a heavy influence on me, along with Neil Peart, the professor. Turned 
Guitar Club only goes on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays pretty much every week in Miss Aragon's room, N11. Um, we've taken to calling her just the Emperor because of uh, how she treats the Guitar Club members. So would you recommend joining Guitar Club? Definitely. It's helped me musically to connect with other people and form my own band and start getting into the music business. <laughs> and we hooked up with him just because I heard him playing bass one day at the school and he sounded really good and he is really good so he's also a part of Guitar Club. Um, it's, just, it's overall been a really good experience and I would recommend it to anybody who's musically inclined or not. <laughs> 